Hello, my name is Callum and I'm a carbon specialist at Debatable. Today we're going to talk about the difference between carbon avoidance and removal offsetting projects. Let's dive in. The first category is carbon avoidance. This project type includes predominantly forest conservation projects, where the focus is on implementing activities which avoid the release of emissions from the conversion of forests into severely deforested or degraded lands. This category also includes projects such as clean cooking stove programs or fuel efficiency initiatives which have the potential to reduce emissions by using less resources or cleaner ones relative to a dirtier business as usual scenario. The second category is carbon removal. Unlike avoidance projects, removal projects focus on sequestering emissions from the atmosphere and storing it in carbon sinks. Examples include activities such as the establishment of new tree planting activities which sequester carbon in the tree biomass and which subsequently can be used in durable harvested wood products. Removal can be much more difficult to scale but is generally easier to measure and verify. The Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change acknowledges that relying solely on the removal of carbon doesn't address the initial problem of greenhouse gases being released into the atmosphere. We need to continue support for removal offset projects while protecting existing carbon sinks through avoided emission carbon offset projects. The Oxford principles for net zero aligned offsetting illustrate this point well. Removals will be required at scale in the near future, but avoidance is urgent today. Our team has assessed and continues to review the quality claims of hundreds of carbon projects, whether they avoid, reduce or remove emissions. We look at their methodology, their key quality pillars and the project developer itself to determine if they bring real climate and social impact. You can check and support some of these projects on our website in the link below.